two months ago, I spent around four hours with my personal assistant to teach her how to trade support and resistance. She's a complete newbie to trading. We didn't know how this was gonna go. We took a risk. So I decided to start her on our live account from day one. Her two month results are nothing short of amazing. She's targeting just 10 pips a day. You guys know that support and resistance trading can be difficult. You second guess yourself. There's a lot of work involved. So I decided to program some software that does all the heavy lifting for her, takes all the guesswork out, so she can spend just a few minutes a day trading. I'm also using this software with my own trading and it's giving me amazing setups like you see right here, resulting in thousands of dollars of profit. So I wanted to bring her on my channel today to talk about her experience and her results. Hope you guys enjoy the interview. Hi everybody, so today I have <laughs> Laura and she is uh, my assistant, so she responds to emails and helps you guys out uh, when you have problems with any of the algorithms that uh, I've created. So today I wanted to bring Laura on to give her a quick interview uh, about the strategy that I taught her. Uh, so we've been working together. I spent about I think three or four hours teaching her support and resistance and how to draw her own support and resistance levels so she could trade them. And she's, she's a brand new trader. Uh, she's never traded the markets before. And it was a, a pretty daunting task because I didn't know how well she was going to do. And you can see her results right here. Uh, she's been able to make uh, over a 6% profit in the last two months. Uh, and this is a live account. So she went straight into live trading. I had a lot of confidence in Laura in her ability to learn quickly. Uh, and she's been able to do this all on her own. And she places her trades daily. And uh, she's been drawing her support and resistance levels weekly. But now I actually created my own uh, support and resistance indicator that does everything for her. Uh, so we're going to talk to her today, get her experience and how she's been able to do this. So Laura, tell us a, a little bit about yourself and how you got involved in all this stuff with me. I guess you could kind of consider me a jack of all trades. I've dealt in customer support for a long time. I was a vet tech. Now I'm a mom of two kids and I'm working on developing my own business right now. And I think that I just mostly started out with you because I think you needed a little bit more help on the customer service side um, just because things were blowing up for you. But I have zero experience, had now, because now <laughs> I do, but I had zero experience trading in the foreign exchange market. So this is completely new to me. All right. So Laura, what is the most challenging thing about learning the strategy? <laughs> um. I feel like it's just mostly understanding it in its simplicity, right? So trying not to overcomplicate things and just take it and be like, okay, what you've done is you've simplified something. Um, so just letting it be that simple and then going that route instead of being like, no, this it can't just be this easy. I've got to overcomplicate it. So I think that was challenging for me. And then once I just decided, you know, I'm just going to stick to the rules of what Ryan's taught me it's been great. Awesome. Yeah, I think that one of the most difficult things uh, in learning how to trade is sticking to a rule set. And this is one of the the things that everybody kind of fails at. And you've been so great at sticking to the rules. And you know, you ask questions, but you ask them before you start doing them just to make sure that it's okay. So, you know, I give you some free reign. So it's not like you have to do this exactly, you have to do this, you have, there's like a range between things that you have to make a decision on. And that's kind of how trading works is that if you have like a, a rule book, but that rule book has a little bit of flex, uh, that's, I think that is an important thing. And you've done that really well. And you guys, you should learn from her with that. She is great with sticking with rules and but making decisions on her own with that too. So it's really cool. Um, so what has been the most challenging part about actually trading the strategy itself? I mean, there's <laughs> there's not much challenge about it. Like it, it is so easy. I think the hardest part is remembering to make my trades. Um, but I literally put a reminder in my phone for every day to make my trade. And so now that's not a challenge either. So <laughs> awesome. yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of what, what you want with trading is you want it to be pretty easy. Uh, most of the time people overcomplicate it and it doesn't need to be like that. Uh, how much time do you spend a day uh, trading? Um, now that you've made the new indicator, two minutes, maybe. Two, that's it. That that's all you spend. 
<laughs> Before the indicator, when I was drawing my own support and resistant lines, I would say that I was doing 10 minutes on Sunday, drawing my lines, and then picking my trades takes two minutes because I know what my pip range is supposed to be. So it's pretty simple. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. It, so uh, initially, guys, I you know it took three to four hours to teach the concept to Laura of how to draw these these lines. And as you get better at it, uh, you can only you only need to spend like five to maybe ten minutes. Um, and once you have those support and resistance lines built out for the week, uh, then you can just keep them for the entire five days of the week, and you can just trade off of them. So it's like ten minutes of work at the beginning of the week, and then you just you just coast. Um, and so yeah, she spends like maybe two or three minutes a day after that. And this new indicator, yeah, it does all that work for you. So she doesn't even have to spend ten minutes. So I mean, that's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Um, but I might, I'm considering actually teaching, uh, this idea of how to draw your support and resistance on my channel at some point. Uh, so you guys can stay tuned to that. So basically what I did for Laura here, um, but now she's got a cheat sheet and I do too. And it kind of doesn't make a lot of sense to draw my lines anymore. So the last two questions, uh, what do you, what do you like about the support resistance indicator? And maybe something that you also don't like that much about it. Okay. Uh, I like that it has condensed my time greatly and kind of removed that, um, oh no, is this the right line? Right. So <laughs> even when I was drawing, I think that's part of what took me so long was second guessing myself. Uh, so I do like that. It's kind of just taken that out and I'm like, well, there it is. I still pick which lines I'm going to choose from, but there's a lot less question behind it. Um, I think though that it's kind of, for me, I kind of had fun drawing my lines. So it's like taken out the sense of me having like a lot to do with the trading but i mean i would still rather have my time right and mm -hmm. that makes a lot of sense to me second too. guessing yeah yeah because like uh, i was thinking the same thing i like i feel like i'm i'm doing less like is this yeah. you you're right you kind of second guess it and so i actually started drawing my own lines on top of the indicator to see how good it compared <laughs> and i realized that the indicator is actually better at it than i than i was uh, but there's a sense of like accomplishment when you actually know how to draw your own really effective support and resistance. So I'm glad that Laura still knows how to do that because it's a concept that she'll be able to take well into her later years in life. And I mm -hmm. think it will still be a uh, very effective in the market. So yeah, I think I agree. I think that you should definitely know what support and resistance are and why those lines are important because I think it helps me even with making my trades. And it's nice to just have that knowledge, even though the algorithm's doing it for me. I think it's greatly beneficial to know what it's doing. Yeah, I, I agree with that. It's always it's always nice to know what you're doing in the market instead of just mechanically doing it, blindly doing it, and not fully understanding it. A lot of people like that because they want to get to the money fast, right? Uh, but if you fully understand it, it's it's something that it's like learning how to make food instead of just buying it. You know, the, when you know how to make it, you can customize it and make it how you want it, uh, and it's potentially more rewarding if you make something that's amazing, right? My last question is, do you see a future in trading uh, for yourself? Uh, trading like this, I don't know why I wouldn't keep doing it, right? Like, it's simple. I actually, I have fun doing it. I have fun looking and being and seeing, oh, I made profit today. Even if it's such a small profit, it's still a satisfying, like I made that choice to buy and sell there and there's uh, what I gained from it. So I don't know if I would ever get into like the complex trading just because I feel like there's more risk in that. I think that some of the benefit that I have right now is that I don't know a ton. So I don't look at my charts and I have no way of thinking, how could I kind of get riskier here? I could, hmm. maybe if I make this trade, I can do like, there's not a lot of human error because I don't know how to make that. <laughs> I see. No, it's, it's great. I mean, you've only been doing this for two months and we started you right in the hot seat, you know, uh, trading real money uh, and making profit out of out of thin air. Uh, and so the idea in the concept of, of in the interest is there. But yes, there's a lot to know about about this market. And uh, yeah, maybe maybe we'll continue to dive deeper into that in the future. Uh, but Laura has been an amazing help. And uh, with all of this and also the correspondence and helping you guys out with uh, with your algorithms. And uh, I, I'm going to show you some of her trades that she's taken on the account now, uh, just to give you an idea of how, how great 
of a trader as she actually is when it comes to drawing her own support and resistance levels and how much profit has been made on the account and how many trades were taken. So Laura has a family and she's starting a new business. So I wanted to teach her a strategy that she can do when life got busy. So she only targets 10 pips daily and not every day can she take a trade. So you can see that she's come out with 6.22% profit, started on October 23rd and averages around 2% monthly profit. So you can see after 36 trades, she's come out with an 81% win rate. You can see the history here. And all this information is in the link in the description of this video, so you can check that out. So I'm really pumped about the possibilities that this software gives users to easily trade support and resistance. You can see the trade panel over here on the left side. Just click show support and resistance, and it pops up on chart. I'm giving this out for a free week, so anybody can try it from January 21st all the way to Friday the 26th. So if you join my free Discord, check out the announcement section for the release. During this free week to try the software, I'm also including a short tutorial on how to trade like Laura. All right, thanks so much, Laura. It's been great talking to you. Thanks for being on, on Thank my you. channel with me today.